Well, hello out there in YouTube land. And how's everybody today? I hope you're doing good today. Sorry about my bed head. I washed my hair and eh, I just didn't get time to go to a barber today or a hair salon. Anyhow, give a shout out to Chris the card collector. Investor, dealer, investor. Card collector, investor, dealer, in that order. And Aaron B. at Aaron B.'s Breaks. Give Mike at Red Racing a shout out. And Billy Sports Cards on 27, 2720 Ron Street in Northeast Philadelphia. And uh, wow. Before we get on to what I got in the mail today, how about this? I got a sponsor. Yeah, that's right. I got a sponsor. So, got to give credit. Zip. This is shitty beer. When you're just having one of them days, you get it at the Pearl Street Microbrewery in La Crosse, Wisconsin. You can reach them at www.pearlstreetbrewery.com and you can order your own shitty beer so you can have a shitty night after that shitty day. Now, how about that? Well, that's pretty good that they came on board. So, you know, maybe people will start to notice me. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's not important, really. Or if you're new to my channel, you want to see my Mike Schmidt cards, hit that subscription button, hit that bell. You get notified every time I post a new video. So let's see what came in the mail today. Well, how's everybody doing out there? You doing good? I'm doing good. Fantastic. Fantastic day. An awesome day. So I got this Joe Montana. Hologram. Yeah, the guy sent it to me in a crappy holder, man. All the corners are like crap. I'm glad it was 20 bucks shipped and tipped. You know, wasn't worth any more than that. But it is a Joe Montana autograph. And I like Joe. And Anybody in the Facebook, YouTube world can hear me tonight. I met Joe Montana in Lacrosse, Wisconsin, and we <laughs> we had a great time together. We were at a bar in Lacrosse, and he come up and grabbed me on my shoulder. He says, "Henry, Henry, you got your car here?" I says, "Yeah, Joe, I got my car. Of course I do." And he says, "You gotta get me back. You gotta get me back to the." to the dorm before 10 o'clock or I'll get fined. I said, what the freak you talking about? You're Joe Montana. You, they ain't gonna find you. He's like, Henry, seriously, you gotta get me there. And I said, all right, Joe, I'll get you there. And uh, we go out, we get in my car. It's a 86 GT Mustang and we're sitting there and he says, well, let's get going, let's get going. And I hand him a Sharpie and I say, <laughs> you gotta autograph my dashboard first, Joe. That's what I said to him. I really did. And uh, he autographed my dashboard real quick. I fast quick took him back to the dorms at the UW Wisconsin where the Saints practice and the Chiefs were there. And uh, I go back to this bar and I sit down with my two drunk buddies, you know, because I'm a designated driver all the time. And uh, they're like, How do you know Joe Montana? How's Joe Montana know your name? Well, I'll tell you, that's another story. I was going down the road past the college, and I seen Joe Montana and two other quarterbacks. I don't know who they were, but they were pretty famous too. But I know Joe Montana was famous. And I just slammed on my brakes, put on my four-way flashers, and jumped out of my car and ran across the street. And 
I said, Joe, I need an autograph. And he says, you need to get your car out of the middle of the street. And I said, no, Joe, I need an autograph. You don't understand. And he says, no, you need to get your car out of the street. I said, I'll move my car after I get an autograph. And he says, look, I won't move. I'll stand right here and wait for you to move your car out of the parking lot. Park it right there. I said, okay, fine. I'll do that. You promise? He said, I promise. And I said, okay. And I moved my car. And he waited. And then I came and he you got to sign this card for my kid. Earlier today, I got your, uh, your owner to get you the autograph of Beckett for my other kid for his birthday tomorrow. But my other kid has a birthday in September and I need two cards autographed. And so Joe Montana and me were walking to his classroom, and he was signing uh, to Henry, happy birthday, uh, September 1993 or whatever year it was. And uh, he gave it to me, and then he, as he walked in the door, and the door just shut, I said, may I shake? And the door shut, and he, go, he opened the door. He came back out, and he said, Henry, I'll shake your hand any time. And I said, thanks. And that's how I met Joe Montana. I mean, that's the truth. That's how I met the man. Then I'm sitting in a bar with a couple buddies, and all of a sudden, you know, one, one of the upper-class bars in lacrosse, of course, you know, one of the snooty bars, <laughs> you know, where us snobs go. And uh, he come up to me, and he remembered my name and all, you know, remembered my car that had left it in the middle of the street. <laughs> He jumped out and said, hey, give me an autograph <laughs> to Joe Montana. But that's cool that he remembered me. I like that. So here, uh, here uh, is an Uncle Larry piece of the jersey, 2021. Alan Ginsburg come in today. They got some of these autographs. I'd really like to have one, but right now they're $600. And, well, I don't want one for $600. I mean... I can get one of the, the real ones that for less than $600 autographed. How about that? So we're going to go into 2002. This is 2002 tops. And I'm not going to probably take the pages out this time. Tops mini. Tops 2006 mini. I'll show you. It's 2002. This is 2002. Tops, high definition, decades of excellence. This one's sort of like chrome. This one's a base. 2002, 206, regular one. This is a personograph. It's a rare, uh, it's a rare, uh, promo card. Rare, rare promo card. Rare, rare promo card. They're all around a hundred bucks. You got that ain't stuff on them. That's just if you if you flick them, it's got different pictures on them. You know, there's Mike moving around and batting his bat, and that's why it looks like there's like a stain on there, but there's not. And see, there's a Piedmont back, and then there's a polar bear back on those 206 minis. They're real rare to get, but it's in the Mike Schmidt. I believe these are also 2002. They're Topps Profile. Topps American Pie. And Topps Reverence from American Pie. Topps Sluggers. Uh, red and white. Silver and white. Blue and white. Gold and white. Here's the top all-star fan favorites from 2002. And here's the tops. I don't know what this was. A pristine 2002. I have that a PSA 10. I remember. This is a 2003 or 2004. I'm not sure. That's the base. That's the insert. Every one I've seen, I've seen thousands and thousands on eBay. Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. They don't sell for much now because there's been so many, but hundreds, all blue. Take note of that. 
Oh, look at this shit. Here's one with a sweet patch. I mean, ain't that patch sweet? With the P and the embroidery. I've never seen another one, but this card's not numbered. I can't believe it's not. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's got to be. And here's the gold version with the blue jersey. Here's the gold version base. And I showed you this in the fancier version. Here's the base version. Here's the fan favorites with the back. Here's Fleer, gold and silver for 2002. Here's Heritage Diamonds, Diamond Kings, Mike Schmidt, Mike Schmidt and Pat Burrell, Mike Schmidt Bass, Mike Schmidt Framed in Brass, Mike Schmidt Framed in Gray, Mike Schmidt's framed in black and gold. Here's Mike Schmidt. This is 2003 Team Team Heroes. This looks to be the same card next to it, but we'll look at the back and see what the difference were. And here's a diamond cut piece of the back. Mike Schmidt, Diamond Kings. Now. That's number 397. And that's number 397. Maybe they're both the same cards. That's one number 139. And one is 13 of 100. 8 of 100. 777 seven, seven, seven of 1,000. We've seen that number quite a bit. And... Here it is in a base. Here it is in a gray. Here it is in a black frame. Are those different? Yes, they are. See? He has a cap on here. So these must be 2003 because he has no cap on. And this is an insert from Don Russell. This is probably a sample card. I believe this one is too. And this one may be a sample card also. This is numbered to 20 or something. It's just a piece of star with a red jersey. Here's a Cal Ripken cut like a glove with a piece of a game used baseball. You Cal Ripken ain't too bad. Oh, that's what these are. They're all samples, all them Diamond Kings. They're all samples. How about that? And this is two of 30. And this one don't have a number. One of those, but they have a hat, and they're samples. And I don't, I didn't see them. Maybe I showed them to you already. 2004 Donruss Classics, 2004 Donruss Classics, I'm sure there's something different, oh, that card has something written down at the bottom there, timeline something or another, mm, this one don't, team colors, call to the hall, it looks like a Donruss 74 home run champ Don Russ. There it is with a piece of his jersey. There's a circle disc from Fleer with a piece of his game used jersey. Here's another one. I thought that one. I bought that one. Then I saw that one. So I had to buy both of them. And that's the base card. I'll see if any of these are, are numbered. This one is numbered uh, 8690. Uh, 869 out of 1500. This one's number 26 out of 100. 
This is 39 out of 250. The one I showed you was a piece of jersey. Call to the Halls, 1954, the year I was born. How about that? And only the common is numbered. And it's numbered 983 out of 1,000. There's 2004 or 5, Don Ross Elite, Mike Schmidt. Nice picture. There's another one, Mike Schmidt. There's Passing the Torch, 2004-2005. There's another one, Mike Schmidt. There's the game Jersey, Mirror Red, Mike Schmidt. There's another Passing the Torch that looks like this Passing the Torch, so there's something I'm different about the two of them. I don't know what it is, but we're going to see this 2003 playoffs again, so... Here's a die cut piece of jersey from Fleer, Fall Classics. Here's a base card without it. The jersey is numbered 65 out of 100. 717. No, 212 out of 1980. Passing the torch has Pat Burrell on the back. That's the difference. This is 93 of 1,000 between them two. This one's limited to 150. This limit 750. This limited to 900. This ain't numbered. Now we get to gallery. The well, gallery had two versions. They had this version, which is the blue version, and the white shirt version. <laughs> God, they're hard to get. And then here you got an error with a piece of his jersey, but they forgot to put his name on it. Here's a leaf in a gold. Here's a leaf in a silver. Here's a leaf in a silver with a piece of the jersey. Here's another leaf like the other ones, but there's something different on the back. Here's a piece of jersey. Here's a piece of jersey with Steve Carlton. With Steve Carlton. And that's number 41 of 158 of 899, 18 of 50. Oh, 50 and 86 of 100. There's 100 of them boogers out there. And 50, 75. How about that? Oh, this is a nice one, Fleer. Mike Schmidt out of Veterans State. I like that card. And this is another Fleer Flyer. 2004-2005. This is a Fleer piece of jersey. This is a uh, Avant. Framed. Avant. Framed. Tops. Piece of the bat. Tops. Record breaker. Piece of the jersey. Refractor. Tops record breaker base. And I remember numbers. I showed you this autograph. Whew. That's a money card. It, it goes with the other two money cards. This is the third one. Here's a piece of the bat, Don Russ Lumberjacks. Here's Don Russ Champions with the red red stripe in the thing. There's a sick glove patch with the number on it. Here's another batting glove patch with the, this. You can see sweat and dirt. It's Spikes, Don Russ, legendary. Then we go with the, the bat. And then we go with the, the red line down the two. And this is the same one, but the red line goes the other way, so I wanted it. <laughs> Here's benchmarks. I believe I showed you one. Oh, wait. I go back on here. This is 272. That's, that's one of 200. And that's uh, 12. 15 of 50. 14 of 50. No 13s. How about that? Well, here's the bench marks, but that's after the bench is cut. I actually got a piece with the top of the bench with stains on it, ass marks on it, and everything else. I 
you'll get to see it. Here's this uh, piece of a baseball bat inserted in a card. And here's a piece of, I don't know, out there in Pittsburgh or somewhere, the wall they had, and that's the outside of it. You can get some with the inside. That, it's stupid. The outside looks better. Here's world champions, Mike Schmidt, piece of bat, throwback threads, and Mike Schmidt, piece of jersey. Mike Schmidt again from Fleer, piece of jersey. Mike Schmidt from Fleer, red jersey. Mike's same card, but it got a different jersey in it, so I wanted it. And the same situation with this one. It had a different jersey in it, so I wanted it. Throwback threads is the only one numbered 98 to 100. Oh, and the piece of the bat is 16 to 25. Only 25 of them. Here's a tops to broom starting lineup card. I believe it's from 95. Here's another one of these sick patches with the red line going down the zero. Bomb squad piece of the bat. This is the gold version. This is the gold version of them jumping on each other, which I have with my autograph collection. Here was the bomb squad. Here's the bomb squad with a piece of jersey. Here's a rare FLIR card that you had to get somewhere, but not FLIR. And here's the common with everybody jumping on each other. That's not gold. Here's the first starting lineup, 88. 89, 95, these are FLIR, refractor base, different refractor, this is a leaf, refractor base, piece of the jersey from Elite, might be numbered 197 of 400, 263 of 500 on the MVP, nothing on that one, 19 of 25. Oh, we got a 13 here of 100. And we go to Fleer 85. We have the silver version, the blue version, and the boyhood idols with the piece of the jersey. Another insert from Don Russ. Bazooka Joe's piece of the jersey, Spectrum promo, Spectrum gold signature, Spectrum base, Spectrum gold numbered. As you can see, promo numbered, promo numbered, number 239. Now these are all different. You have to look at them. They're all numbered on the back. This says Ver truly Mike Schmidt. This just says square Mike Schmidt. This is a square Mike Schmidt, but it says something different on the bottom. This is yours truly, but it says different than the one up above it. This is a Mike Schmidt, but it says white down there. This is a Mike Schmidt, but it says black down there. This is the same card from Fleer, but it says white down there. There's the same card from Fleer, but it's written different in black. And this is the same card. Don't have a signature. And got something else written on there. But they're numbered. They are numbered. Each one of them. 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 63, 46. There's 45 of them. 26 of them. Well, there's a 13, 26 of them. So, and then, here's the same card again. Go back and forth on your little winder thing, and uh, you can see the difference in these cards. Drove me buggy trying. This one's a bluish version. And this one says best wishes. This one says sincerely. I mean, come on. Clear? My goodness. And they're all, they're all number two. This one's 18, 42. One to 27, 13 to 46, 13 to 46. Uh, 10 of 46, 2 of 46, and here's another one. It's different than them. You turn it around. It's, uh, 
you know, I hustled Donald McNabb to give me this autograph. Here's a piece of McNabb, Juice Staley's jersey, piece of McNabb's jersey, piece of McNabb's jersey, 2002, piece of football, 2002, a sick piece of the Eagle patch. I'll go down here. Nice piece of the football with Paul Tagliabue. Got conference here. Got a piece of helmet or a piece of jersey here. For Donovan McNabb. There's another duel. Donovan McNabb and Deuce Staley, I believe. It's on the back side. I'll show it to you. Just regular McNabb cards here. Here's a Terrell Owens in a Eagles uniform. Loved him. Here's his rookie card with the cover still on it, so you know it's a 10 that sells for big bucks. Here's a McNabb again with the football in the jersey, McNabb playoff ticket, McNabb season ticket. And on the back of that card is, actually it is uh, Jaws Johnson. Do Staley and Charles Johnson. Huh. I don't understand that card. This one's numbered. There's a stadium seat. That's from Pittsburgh. There's a Diamond King. There's a Diamond King. The dealers in town gave them to me. Their samples. Here's just a jersey card. And here's a ticket and a jersey for McNabb. Here's a sick piece of his uh, eagle and and uh, a bench seat, pretty metal card. Mm -hmm. Die cut McNabb, white jersey, die cut McNabb, green jersey. See, sample, sample on the Diamond Kings. There's just a McNabb card. Here's one for Brett Favre. I live in Wisconsin, so we got Brett Favre. And then we got Classic combinations with Culpepper and Farb, the Culp Culpepper and McNabb. Farb right there, die cut of Farb. Here's a Diamond King of Farb. I don't believe it's a sample. I will have to look. Here's a piece of Farb, strip piece of Farb. I live in Wisconsin. I don't like the package. Well, that's a sample. And that's a sample. Five. That's not the Diamond King. That's a Brett Favre card, a Brett Favre card, a Brett Favre card, a Brett Favre card, a Donovan McNabb card, a Donovan McNabb card, a Donovan McNabb card, a J.P. Losman autograph. I pulled out a pack worthless. And here's a sample. Randy Moss, because he plays for the Vikings, and that's what everybody likes around here. You gotta like the Vikings, or the Bears, or the Packers. Oh my goodness, I'm an Eagle fan. I got to go to the Super Bowl, though, right up in Minneapolis. And my brother-in-law, check him out, www.strictlyfx.com. He does the Super Bowl halftime shows, so... I'm a spoiled rotten little brat. I get to go out on the field. Ha 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 ha. I get to meet all the players all week. I get to play out there the whole entire time they're out there. How about that? And there we go. That's the end of this binder. I'm sorry that I ran you guys for so long. You know, I wanted to keep you up to date and everything I'm trying to. I got through this binder, so tomorrow we're going to do a vault. How about that? Tomorrow we'll do a vault. That way I have each card in my hand. I hold it. I show it around. And uh, we look at them. And usually the ones in the vaults are pretty recent. Uh, 2012 up, I would say, because I stopped with the binders and everything. And I just started putting them in... Tupperware containers because in hard holders, of course, you know, I've got hard holders in there, of course, is a condition sensitive hobby. So, I want to give a shout out for Billy's Cards 20, 
2720 Ron Street, Northeast Philadelphia. I want to give a shout out to Aaron B. I want to give a shout out to Chris at the Card Collector, investor dealer in that order. And I want to give a shout out for Mike Pedretti at Mike Pedretti Racing. How about you all give them a visit? And then my new sponsor here that I got, I got to get some, I got to get some subscribers now and some viewers. I'm, I'm not kidding. People are wanting to pay me money to do this. And I'm like, wow, are you serious? Pay me money to show my, my mic schmick? Well, okay. But again... Stop into the Pearl Street Brewery and pick yourself up some shitty beer. You'll be really glad you did if you have one of them shitty days. And for those of you worrying about my patch here, that happens to be keep calm and chive on. I've been wearing this for about 11 years now. Because I would say in the past uh, eight years, my son has spent at least, he's been to Bagram six times, six months at a time. That's three years, three years total over at Bagram. So I have my opinion about that, but I'm we're going to keep this to Mike Schmidt. How about that? But give a shout out to my son. He's a good kid. You know, I took the crap when I came home from Vietnam. And how about you pick yourselves up some shitty beer? And y'all out there in Facebook land, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe, hit that bell. Don't miss any of my videos. And y'all have a good night. I love you. Take care of yourself. I love you, Henry. I love you, Gwen. I love you, little Henry. I love you, Elena. I love you, Joe. I love you, Mackenzie. I love you, Kyler. I love you, Caden. I love you all. I love all you out there. I really do. I put my glasses back on so I can see my cards. <laughs> and you all take care now and have a wonderful, wonderful night. And have a wonderful Sunday tomorrow. I forgot to say this Saturday night in August. I think it's the 21st. I'm not sure. Pretty sure. You take care now, okay? Boop.